All right, Coach, you guys started a really impressive day against a, a very good Division Four team that you're probably not a, really familiar with. What was the keys for you guys uh, coming into the game that you wanted to, to have a great start? You know, we wanted to make sure we try to control the tempo as much as possible. We knew they had a height, a, a height advantage. They had some big size down low. The Downing girls are incredible girls. The Hunt girl, a lot of size there. So we were worried about some of their physicality down low. So what we wanted to focus on making sure we took that post away, front that block. We're also focused on Riley out there outside because we know she's an incredible shooter. So I thought the girls did a great job executing our game plan. And then especially in that first half, it was one of our better defensive performances we've had this year. And really that yeah. defensive performance we had really helped us stay to that win that we, we, we had today. Uh, this ain't your first time down here either. Can you talk about how it's an advantage, you know, that you're kind of familiar with the environment? Absolutely. You know, last year we came down kind of the last minute. Um, we had some nerves some of the, uh, with our girls. You know, obviously we played a great school in, in Highland, and we got our point guard and our guards a little bit ragged. So having that experience last year, we were able to come in here a little more relaxed. We knew what to expect. We've had some big games uh, this season. So that really helped with our nerves. It really helped us to really manage our emotions. And I think we saw that at the start of the first quarter. How were you dressing the team towards halftime? You guys had a big lead at halftime. You held them to, I think, 11 points. You know, But you obviously know the game's not over. How, I mean, how were you dressing the team at that point? You know, we talk all the time. It's a 32-minute game, and we had 16 minutes to play. And we knew that they were a very strong team. We watched them live. We watched a lot of film on them. We knew what they were capable of. You got a team that scores 77 points a game that only scores 11 points in a half time with some dynamic shooters. We knew they were going to make a run. The game of basketball is a, is a game of runs. We knew it was coming. We needed to make sure we withstood their punch and make sure we countered. And I, we had enough little counter action there to end the game to follow the end against a very, very good um, tribal machine. You talk about the end, you know, the fourth quarter a little bit. It did, you did have a, uh, several opportunities to kind of put it away or even extend the lead, and, and you just couldn't capitalize on that. You know, how, how did you uh, talk to the kids and keep them in it and, and just make sure that it didn't get away. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure we managed our emotions, really. You know, we're a great free throw shooting team. We shoot about 75% from the foul line. We shot 19 for 30 today, which is a little bit atypical for us. One of our worst shooting performances from the foul line. So for us, it was just keeping them calm, keeping them under control, let them step up, hit some shots. And we made some key free throws there towards the end that really helped propel us to that win. But again, we've had a lot of key games this year, big wins. Um, playing here last year really helped prepare us for this moment, and I thought the girls did a great job seizing the moment and pulling out that victory.